So this is a Sony Universal A mechanism 8mm camcorder service video for cameras that are chewing like the top of the bottom edge of the tape. This affects all the A mechanisms, so I'm not even going to list models because there's so many different models that use this mechanism. But if you see this mechanism, you'll recognize it. It was used on the VX3, TRV30, TR23, etc. All the generation of this era. Got a Sony Handycam here. This was an A mechanism and the symptom I was told on this one is that it eats tapes. So let's uh, see whether it uh, eats. Okay, play. Yeah, okay. Well, this one's definitely got a problem. It's got an alignment problem for starters. So before I destroy that tape, let's uh, open this one up and see why it's doing that. It's uh, crunching the top edge of the tape, which is a, a good indicator that the pinch roller is probably shot on this one. So let's just uh, open it up and see whether it's the pinch roller or something else that's causing the problem, but likely it's the pinch roller on this one that's bad. Could be an alignment problem too, or tension, but uh, usually these type of problems, it's a pinch roller that's causing a fault. So. I probably have a pinch roller that I can sub for this. I should have a chassis like this that I can rob a pinch roller out of. See how the guides, if they're aligned, the guides loose. Nope, guides are not loose. What about the? Uh, what about this one? You sometimes pull out on these. You don't have to be glued back in. No, that seems to be solid. So it's that one. So it's just going to be probably the pinch roller here. I'm just going to see if I can get the old pinch roller out. We kind of dig these things out by just a little clip on them that hold the pinch roller in place. And we just kind of have to pry this little clip out. The cover comes off and then the pinch roller will lift off. Find a new, find another pinch roller for it. Try another pinch roller and see if it works. See if it's still chewing the tape. The old one doesn't. It doesn't look like it's badly worn, but uh, when they're chewing tapes, it generally indicates the pinch roller is bad. I'll find another one from another camera. So I have another pinch roller here. Here's the original one. And I've got another one that I can try replacing it with. What quite often happens is the bearing uh, wears out and the pinch roller can start to shift and cause the tape to get damaged. That's usually what happens. So I'll put another pinch roller on. And we'll put the little retainer clip back on. These are just held in place by this little white retainer that gets pushed down over top of it. And seats it in place. It just holds it in place like that. Now I want to inspect this uh, tape as it's traveling over the tape, over the pinch roller. So I'm just going to remove the bat bracket here and take out the battery. This is just so that I can observe 
the operation to see that it's not riding up the pinch roller and damaging the tape. So that bracket comes out just like that. Now I'm able to see what I'm doing. I can see what the tape is doing. The back tension is adjusted right here. It's everything's tight, so I don't think there's a problem with the back tension on this unit. It's gonna load up the tape and we're gonna let the tape play. See, as you saw, it was damaging the tape initially, so let's just see whether there's any tape curl. So what I'm concerned about is if the tape curls down in here. Now we've got a good playback now to show you the picture. The only thing that's been done on here was the uh, the pinch roller's been changed. In fact, that was a glitch on the tape. So the picture's good. Let's uh, observe and see if we see any tape curl around the guide here, which is looking good. I don't see any signs of tape damage you know, going around the guides. The uh, back tension arm is in, dropping into place. This is the back tension arm here. This is what affects the back tension. So it is going into place properly. It's not sticking or anything. And the back tension on the tape, I have no way to measure it, but it looks to be, it looks to be good. I'm gonna let this tape play here for a while and uh, we'll test this one out make sure it's playing good but it looks like it just may have been a bad pinch roller that uh, the only thing that's been changed on this is the pinch roller and everything else looks to be good the guides themselves are not loose they're tight right there's no there's no play on the guides oops there's no play on the guides at all so I think we're good I think we're good so I'm gonna let this tape play and uh, Fingers crossed, this is all that's wrong with this one. And this is another 8mm camera that has been saved from the scrap heap. Another camera for me to sell. Okay, the tape's finished playing. Let's rewind it. And we'll play it again. Okay, the tape's rewound back to the beginning. Let's start another play cycle on this thing. And what I typically do is I typically let the tapes play through several times to make sure that there's no problems. And... Uh, then I put them up for sale and make them available to people. Well, the tape's been playing now for probably 30 minutes. As you can see, playing perfect. So I uh, think it's probably fairly safe to uh, say that this one's in good shape now. I'll continue to let it play through the tape and play another tape through it before putting it all back together but I think at this point it's fairly safe to say that the fault with this one with the chewing the top edge of the tape there was the pinch roller was worn or uh, the bearing had gone bad and it was causing it to tilt slightly usually it's wear along one edge or the other and just the rubber after all these years starts to deteriorate and get sticky and then the tape starts to stick to it a bit that's typically what happens on pinch rollers Okay, this one's still playing. It's good. I'm going to throw this one together so I can sell it. So let's get the cover back on this one. First, I'll reinstall the battery holder. It just fits in like that and locks in place. There's a little pin that locks it in place right here. cabinet just snaps back together
There you go, all done. When you have one of these, a mechanisms like this, or any of the camcorders for that matter, if they're chewing the edge of the tape, good chance the problem is the pinch roller. That's the first thing to change. Other than that, check your back tension. If it's too low, it's going to damage the tapes. Too low is worse than too high. Back together.